Well, today I've brought you to one of my favourite beaches in South Wales. It's Langeneth, also known as Rasili, on the, the Gower Peninsula. It's a fantastic beach, a classic Atlantic storm beach, that is facing due west. It's summer, and the main species that we're going to be targeting are bass, flounder, and golden grey mullet. May occasionally pick up a, a smooth hound, a small smooth hound, um, and a few other species, but those are the three that I'll expect to see today. Tackle wise, it's very straightforward. I'm using a light neck save estuary rod, 11 foot 6, uh, perfect for casting 2 to 4 ounce leads that we're using. I've teamed that up with a Torium 14 multiplier, 6.2 to 1 retrieve, again, excellent for keeping tight on a fish in a lively surf. And as a rig, just a simple three hook flapper rig, three hook paternoster rig. The hook lengths 12, 15 pound clear monofilament, terminating in a size six Aberdeen hook. That's a long shank hook. And for a bait, I'm using Maddie's. Um, we call them mudworm here in, in Wales. Uh, Maddie's. Uh, Maddies are what they're known as in, in a lot of other places around the country. They're actually harbour ragworm, a small species of ragworm that you find in the mud inside estuaries. But if you're intent on coming to a beach like this and catching flounder and golden grey mullet, these really are a must-have bait. Uh, I've also got some razor fish. Um, conditions are not ideal for bass. If there was a livelier surf today, uh, I would be confident we're catching a few bass and if that was the case I'd probably use some razor fish later on. If you want to catch bass in the summer in these conditions you really do need to fish after dark but I would expect to see a few small schoolies. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of anglers make when they fish a surf beach such as this is they use a rod rest. Um, a lot of the bites you get are very hard, quick, rattling affairs. And the best way to connect with those and get a good hookup is to actually hold your rod so that you're in a position to strike as soon as the fish takes your bait. Not only that, it's one of the nicest ways of actually fishing to actually be in touch with your tackle and feel that first inquiry, a little delicate tap, tap, tap on the tip and then feel the first surge of power as a fish bends the tip around. I love surf fishing. Of all the types of sea angling that I get to do, if I could only do one type of fishing for the rest of my life, it would probably be fishing a, a surf beach such as this. They really are inspirational fish places to fish. Not the biggest flounder I've ever caught and hopefully we get a much bigger one today but it's the first fish and it's always a, a reassuring sign on a on a trip on a beach. They're beautiful little fish these flatties. They really are nice and uh, you know beaches like this you quite often get them to two two and a quarter two and a half pounds even on a lovely light rod like this neck save. A really good sport to catch. I'll just slip him back, rebait and see if we can catch a bigger one. Well, that's not exactly one of the species we were expecting to catch, but in all fairness, I did say in the introduction there was a possibility of catching a smooth hound, and uh, 
Whereas we're struggling for everything else, Richie just caught this. I bet you had a good struggle on that, didn't you? Like I said, I thought <laughs> it was a bass of a lifetime when that... Uh... It certainly looked the part. And yeah. You know, on a nice rod like that, Olivia, I suppose he gave you a nice fight. And... It was, yeah. Good bend in the rod as well. So and that, that was on the Maddies? Yeah, on the Maddies, yeah. Well, well, well. Yeah. Well, there's a bonus fish. All we want to do now is try and catch the stuff we came for. Yeah. Should we get him back in, Rich? Have another go? Yeah.